Plasma cell, Wikipedia article audio. Plasma cells, also called plasma B cells, plasmacytes, plasmacytes, or effector B cells, are white blood cells that secrete large volumes of antibodies. They are transported by the blood plasma and the lymphatic system. Plasma cells originate in the bone marrow. B cells differentiate into plasma cells that produce antibody molecules closely modeled after the receptors of the precursor B cell. Once released into the blood and lymph, these antibody molecules bind to the target antigen and initiate its neutralization or destruction. Structure Plasma cells are large lymphocytes with a considerable nucleus to cytoplasm ratio and a characteristic appearance on light microscopy. They have amphiphilic cytoplasm and an eccentric nucleus with heterochromatin in a characteristic cartwheel or clock face arrangement. Their cytoplasm also contains a pale zone that on electron microscopy contains an extensive Golgi apparatus and centrioles. Abundant rough endoplasmic reticulum combined with a well-developed Golgi apparatus makes plasma cells well suited for secreting immunoglobulins. Other organelles in a plasma cell include ribosomes, lysosomes, mitochondria, and the plasma membrane. Terminally differentiated plasma cells express relatively few surface antigens, and do not express common pan-B cell markers such as CD19 and CD20. Instead, plasma cells are identified through flow cytometry by their additional expression of CD138, CD78 and the interleukin-6 receptor. In humans, CD27 is a good marker for plasma cells, naive B cells are CD27, Memory B cells are CD27+, and plasma cells are CD27++. Surface Antigens The surface antigen CD138 is expressed at high levels. Development Another important surface antigen is CD319. This antigen is expressed at high levels on normal human plasma cells. It is also expressed on malignant plasma cells in multiple myeloma. Compared with CD138, which disappears rapidly ex vivo, the expression of CD319 is considerably more stable. Immature Plasma Cells After leaving the bone marrow, the B cell acts as an antigen-presenting cell and internalizes offending antigens which are taken up by the B cell through receptor-mediated endocytosis and processed. Pieces of the antigen are loaded onto MHC2 molecules, and presented on its extracellular surface to CD4 plus T cells. These T cells bind to the MHC2 antigen molecule and cause activation of the B cell. This is a type of safeguard to the system almost like a two-factor authentication method. First, the B cells have to encounter a foreign antigen, and are then required to be activated by T helper cells before they differentiate to specific cells. Function Upon stimulation by a T cell, which usually occurs in germinal centers of secondary lymphoid organs like the spleen and lymph nodes, the activated B cell begins to differentiate into more specialized cells. Germinal center B cells may differentiate into memory B cells or plasma cells. Most of these B cells will become plasma blasts, and eventually plasma cells, and begin producing large volumes of antibodies. Some B cells will undergo a process known as affinity maturation. This process favors, by selection for the ability to bind antigen with higher affinity, the activation and growth of B cell clones able to secrete antibodies of higher affinity for the antigen. Clinical Significance 
The most immature blood cell that is considered of plasma cell lineage is the plasma blast. Plasma blasts secrete more antibodies than B cells, but less than plasma cells. They divide rapidly and are still capable of internalizing antigens and presenting them to T cells. A cell may stay in this state for several days, and then either die or irrevocably differentiate into a mature, fully differentiated plasma cell. Differentiation of mature B cells into plasma cells is dependent upon the transcription factors BLIMP1 slash PRDM1 and IRF4. After the process of affinity maturation in germinal centers, plasma cells have an indeterminate lifespan, ranging from days to months. Recently they have been shown to reside for much longer periods in the bone marrow as long-lived plasma cells. They secrete high levels of antibodies, ranging from hundreds to thousands of antibodies per second per cell. Unlike their precursors, they cannot switch antibody classes, cannot act as antigen-presenting cells because they no longer display MHC2, and do not take up antigen because they no longer display significant quantities of immunoglobulin on the cell surface. However, continued exposure to antigen through those low levels of immunoglobulin is important, as it partly determines the cell's lifespan. The lifespan, class of antibodies produced, and the location that the plasma cell moves to also depends on signals, such as cytokines, received from the T cell during differentiation. Differentiation through a T cell independent antigen stimulation can happen anywhere in the body and results in short lived cells that secrete IgM antibodies. The T cell dependent processes are subdivided into primary and secondary responses. A primary response produces short lived cells that remain in the extramedullary regions of lymph nodes, a secondary response produces longer lived cells that produce IgG and IgA, and frequently travel to the bone marrow. For example, Plasma cells will likely secrete IgG3 antibodies if they matured in the presence of the cytokine interferon gamma. Since B cell maturation also involves somatic hypermutation, these antibodies frequently have a very high affinity for their antigen. Plasma cells can only produce a single kind of antibody in a single class of immunoglobulin. In other words, Every B cell is specific to a single antigen, but each cell can produce several thousand matching antibodies per second. This prolific production of antibodies is an integral part of the humoral immune response. Plasmacytoma, multiple myeloma, Waldenstrom macroglobulinemia, and plasma cell leukemia are malignant neoplasms of the plasma cells. Multiple myeloma is frequently identified because malignant plasma cells continue producing an antibody, which can be detected as a paraprotein. Common variable immunodeficiency is thought to be due to a problem in the differentiation from lymphocytes to plasma cells. The result is a low serum antibody level and risk of infections. Primary amyloidosis is caused by the deposition of excess immunoglobulin light chains which are secreted from plasma cells.